Why does the U.S. Air Force use this air refueling system instead of the most common one in the world? Air refueling isn't just difficult, it can also be extremely dangerous. So why does America choose the harder option? Let me explain. Most countries use the probe and drogue refueling system. It's popular because it's simple and flexible. The receiving aircraft extends a probe and connects to a fuel drogue trailing behind the tanker. But the U.S. Air Force is built differently. Instead of probe and drogue, they use something called the flying boom refueling system. This system is far more complex. It requires not only a highly trained pilot but also a dedicated boom operator. The boom operator lies in a special position inside the tanker and manually guides the boom into the receiving aircraft. During the entire process, precise air pressure must be maintained. If the pressure is wrong, it can damage the aircraft, and at high speed and altitude that can be deadly. So why keep using it? Because the flying boom transfers fuel incredibly fast, up to four times faster than the probe and drogue system. That means less time exposed in the air, more fuel delivered, and faster mission turnaround. It's harder. It's riskier. But for the U.S. Air Force, speed and efficiency make all the difference.